In this video, I'm discussing what is a double bottom. The good news is a double bottom can happen and be shown and show up on any time frame: monthly chart, weekly chart, hourly chart. This is a three minute chart. Now, keep in mind, I only use the three minute chart when I'm day trading stocks. I don't use it for cryptos and we'll absolutely look at cryptos in just a moment, but it's very important to just understand what a double bottom is. First and foremost, a double bottom is a reversal signal. And there are a few ways to trade them. However, one of the ways to trade them is to just simply see when they arrive, show up, and then take the trade based on that analysis and based on that pattern. Does it take time to visually identify? Absolutely, right? It will take you time to be able to spot these actively and articulately where you feel like you really have strong confidence in seeing them. But I promise if you give yourself a few weeks, a few months, you will be able to see these in no time. So here's a double bottom. Boom, 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 boom. Double bottom is generally, like I mentioned, a reversal signal, a reversal pattern that's comprised of numerous candlesticks. Those candlesticks create a chart pattern. A chart pattern is a, in this specific reversal signal. This reversal signal, of course, being a buying signal. And the W, right, that in that double bottom spells winner. <laughs> and the goal is to be able to catch a winner, which obviously is not always the case, but it does really help when you can spot and identify a double bottom. The way I generally trade double bottoms is I wait for a candle to close above what's referred to as the neckline. The neckline is going to be the middlemost resistance or candle that shows up in the actual pattern itself. So for now, you can kind of see that middle pattern. If I draw a line, draw all the way up to the top of that bear candle, come down all the way here and show that is a W. If you need help spotting double bottoms, just turn on that line chart and you'll be able to see W's very, very frequently, right? Boom, boom, boom. There's one right there. The bigger the W, right? The bigger the winning pattern, the better oftentimes. And the way I trade these patterns is once you get a close on whatever time frame you're trading above the neckline, I will buy a retest of that neckline. So I'm not getting in on that price. I'm not getting in at the close of that candle. I am now waiting for it to retest into the neckline. So I will do a pullback, uh, AKA a limit buy. So I'm looking to get in lower and buy off of the retest of this neckline. And what's fun is the retest, I mean, can happen in a whole magnitude of ways. But you're essentially just looking to buy a dip off of that old resistance new support. That's what you're trying to do. And again, sometimes the trade works, sometimes it doesn't, that's okay. But it's spotting it and being able to see it and recognizing it, which is what helps tremendously. So let's go look at a great double bottom that happened on Ethereum. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at it on a daily chart. And you'll really clearly be able to see, I think, this double bottom pattern. And here it is. Boom, 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 boom. And this is one of the reasons why I'm buying Ethereum when it trades down to 27, 27, if it does, I'll be buying it off the neckline of that double bottom. Now this particular double bottom did not retest as you can see on a daily chart, meaning it did not close above and come all the way back and bounce. And that's why you can see that it actually did end up going higher and then had a pullback over here. So unfortunately, I actually was not able to buy Ethereum on that particular run at 27, 27, 27, which is where I wanted to buy it. So now I'll buy it there if it pulls back to there again, which I kind of expected it will. So simply put, I had to adopt a different strategy, which was bear candle closing above the 10 EMA. And then right here, you had that inside candle just like that on Ethereum. So that inside candle, right? Really building that pressure, allowing an entire 24 days of uh, 24 hours of rest and then boom, that was the explosion higher on Ethereum. So specifically, this right here was the double bottom that really caused Ethereum to have a reversal. This, of course, is the flip side of the chart, which is a double top. So double top is an M for murder, right? Murderous, meaning it's likely going down. People don't want their assets to go down. They only want them to go up. But the reality is things go up and things go down all the time. And specifically, that's that's how double bottoms work. 
They are formed when whoever buys a position once figures, you know what, this is a great place to buy it again. So asset class comes down, finds a pocket of buyers. Buyers are like, you know what, great idea. Let's buy it again. They do so. Buying it again causes up to trade up higher. Whoever sold it previously and made money sells it again, right? So the asset class comes down, comes right back down to almost the exact same price. Generally, it's a little bit higher if it's a little bit more of a powerful pattern, but comes back up into that location and then bang, closes above the neckline. That right there, this candle representing the close above the neckline of that double bottom pattern. And you can kind of clearly see again on the daily chart that Ethereum really did scorch the very earth upon which we walk when it started going higher after that pattern. Now, can you have bigger double bottoms? And the answer is yes. It does take a lot of practice to be able to see double bottoms, but very, very good double bottoms occur after a selling event. That's very key to take note of. So when I say a selling event, after the price action of an asset has gone down, double bottoms generally tend to occur after that instance, right? After the actual selling. So if a stock's going up, going up, or an asset or crypto, and then it does one of these things, it's not really called a double bottom, let's call, let's call it something else. And I mean, hey, if you're like, hey, this is a double bottom, case in point right there, right? That really wasn't a big enough pullback. That wasn't actually a selling event. That's just a wave structure, a wave count, a dip, an S-curve. There's all kinds of different names you could call that, but essentially a double bottom is a reversal pattern of a bearish move, a bearish trend to some degree, to some magnitude that we are able to spot, that we're able to see, and that we are, of course, able to take advantage of. And yes, double bottoms do happen all the time on all forms of not only crypto, but all of their asset classes. And that's the patterns, right? The patterns is just all about being able to see them, being able to recognize them. And if we ever need to uh, practice it more and more, you just go back and draw it, right? Pull up that line chart, like I mentioned earlier, and see if you can find one. There's a beautiful one right here. Just spectacular to zoom in and really see how clean this double bottom was. A lot of nice movement here. And Posted a video recently about what is compression. So what you'll do is you'll see this double bottom come in. There's a close with the neckline right here. There's the neckline. And then you have five or six days of compression. Really beautiful, tight range, sideways motion. Here's your inside candle right here on the 13th of September. These are your bear candles closing above the 10. Absolute fire trade. Entry here. This is back when Ethereum was 195 buy some here, let it ride up and then sell into strength. Taking, you know, if you bought a thousand coins, right, you're investing 185 grand and it rides up a good 20, 30 points. You make 30 grand in a week, sell, lock in your profit, move on, trade another trade. Beautiful run up, very, very nice. And that's when you start piecing multiple things together is when you can just crush a trade and make beautiful, beautiful cash flow is when you can spot, this is a 10 EMA pattern. Here's your double inside candle right here. Indecision, inside candle again, double bottom. You have five or six different pattern strategies and setups all formulating into one. Mm, absolute clean, clean trade. So anyway, that's double bottoms. I hope this was a helpful video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for tuning in. You rock.